What's going on, guys? This is Jabe, um, and I am starting up an LP series, uh, Minecraft LP. Um, I have already started this world, as you can see. Uh, built a pagoda, not finished with it yet, still in progress. Um, but this is the um, going to be my house or the central hub for where I spend most of the time in the LP at least um, where I I'm gonna set up a or, well I've already set up a, a small storage area downstairs got a enchanting area up upstairs um, and I got a little got a little uh, storage room right here bunch of chests and sorted by different categories like tools, blocks, materials for like uh, brewing and food and stuff. Um, and I got a strip mine below, but uh, we don't need to go down there because I'm not very prepared to go down there yet. Um, anyway, uh, got a little house here. Um, this is the first little temporary house that I built while I was building this thing. Um, still trying to get find out a way to make that mob proof. I might uh, might put a door here, like a, a three by three piston door or something. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, I don't think I've even got enough iron to make pistons yet. Uh, yeah, I, I do, but I'd rather not. Um, and yeah, my armor's almost broken, so I, I built a backup. But I was just trying to get some levels to uh, to enchant the other stuff um, before before putting it on. Got a little wheat farm, a little uh, reed farm over there, and cow farm. Yay. I used to have a lot more, but then I went on a rampage and killed them all because I needed books. And if you guys don't know now, um, which you guys probably do because everybody on YouTube knows everything about Minecraft, um, but books require leather to make now. Um, so I've been kind of growing up some some cows and then killing them and then growing them up again and killing them just trying to get some levels and whatnot or levels and leather um, got a little sand pit here uh, it's where I've been collecting my sandstone to make this monstrosity um, but I did want to I want to switch all of these fences with nether nether brick fences cuz the the light wood just doesn't go with the with the dark wood and um and the sandstone uh, I I think that the this spruce tree and a nether nether brick fence look really good together um so what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to enchant this armor. Um, maybe we'll go down, try to find a cave, and uh, get that done. I, c I could build a portal, eh, portal and go into the Nether, but I just don't really want to do that on my first episode. And I also want to get a bit better repair, a uh, bit, bit better prepared. For that uh, 14 let's see we got four pieces we can do four a piece on each one and then we'll put the uh, let's see what we get there mm, protection one protection one uh, da, 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 da. Let's do this one. Fire protection. That's good. It's going to be good for the nether. Uh, let's see if I can get a five on here somewhere. Yep. And protection. So, 
Yeah, whatever. I'll put my helmet on now. And, um... Yeah, let's go out and find some mobs. Um, oh, if you're wondering how I got this, uh, these diamonds and whatnot, there was a uh, desert temple in this desert. I spawned like just over there in that area and uh, was just lucky enough to have, yeah, there's the uh, desert temple over there. Um, found three diamonds in there. Was able to make a pick. Um, whoa. Cheaty sand. Uh, was able to make a pick and then from there I went strip mining. Found like 14 more diamonds. Built an enchanting table. Got some uh, got some obsidian. Built an enchanting table. Uh sword a second diamond pick i believe and a pair of diamond pants um then one thing that's really cool about this world and i am an idiot because i am on peaceful mode sorry guys um but anyway um yeah, so one thing that's really cool about this area is um, is the fact that there are so many biomes so close to each other. Uh, there's a extreme hills biome over there, desert right here, and um, jungle over there, plains, and uh, there's a snow biome there. And I think a forest that way. So it's literally like all these biomes all in one. And there's just everything that you can get in the game just pretty much really close to you. Uh, I did search the jungle and didn't find a jungle <laughs> temple, which kind of sucks. But what are you going to do? Let's see if we can get this guy to make a record. Nope. Um, so... I think I'm going to stop uh, running around the desert now and um, just do something a little more fun. Alright, so here we are. We're going down into this cave and we're going to check things out. See what it's like down here. Hopefully it goes down pretty far because I'd like to find some more uh, diamonds and uh, get some redstone. I, I have like two or three like two and a half stacks or so of redstone but um i like to have a little more because i do like to do some stuff with the redstone and this just goes nowhere so uh, i guess i'll just uh collect some of this stuff um just went and chopped down a bunch of uh trees or a tree a jungle tree um things are huge you just put four saplings down and you get those huge ass trees and they just give you so much wood it's nice if you would uh, anyway so um, anyway since this is a new LP series um, I guess I will talk a little bit about myself um, I am a uh, a waiter at a Mexican restaurant uh, in Ohio, and I let's see. I started playing Minecraft pretty much when it came out, and I've always kind of wanted to do like an LP series, and I just never like really got around to it I got lazy and I was just like eh, I'll I'll do it eventually and I just never did so here I am now doing it and hopefully you guys enjoy it um, if you don't then too bad uh, don't watch it <laughs> um, Oh, and there was a really cool mountain range over there. We'll uh, we'll go explore that later. Um, but 
uh, yeah, this this area is really nice. And here's another area here. I think I explored down here in that cave. Ooh, yeah, this goes down really far. Uh, just just drops drops in on you. I guess I'll have to go down there and get that coal, but um, also slime chunk here, and I got attacked by Endermen last time I was down here, so if I didn't kill those Endermen, they might be after me. Uh, hopefully I don't look at him, because I don't want to be murdered. Pig. What's up, pig? Um, yeah, this is a really cool, like, huge room. Um, uh, get out of here, creeper. Get out of here! But I hate how, like, when you knock them away, or when you kill them, they, like, make the blowing up sound again. They're sizzling like they're about to blow up. It drives me nuts. Because I always think there's another one behind me, and then, you know what, one of these days, there is going to be another one behind me, and I'm going to be like, oh, no, it's just a, just the creeper that I killed, and he's going to blow up in my face. And... Since they buffed creepers, I might die. Ooh! Ooh, dungeon! Sweet! I think it's just a zombie dungeon, but... You know what? First dungeon in this world? Can't complain about... Oh! Hey, guys! Having a party in here? Get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna die. Might die. Might die here. Hope I don't. I don't want to die. Might have to uh, turn this into a little XP farm or something. Because there's really no use for zombie meat. Zombies are, I mean, they're easy to kill. And you can get iron tools and whatnot from them. So it might be nice for a little experience farm. Not that you need an experience farm now with everything dropping experience when you cook when you oh give that back well I didn't really need it but when you cook when you mine when you pretty much do anything in this entire game XP get an achievement XP maybe that's that's coming in 1.4 um, let's see, light some of this up, give me some of this experience, got your grass block, buddy, ah, oh, something broke, probably my boots, shot me in the boot, hey, shovel, uh, yep, boots broke. Now I got new ones. Thanks, bro. You helped me out. Uh, this actually might not be a bad idea, bad place to build a portal. Um, I think this connects to my um, pagoda. So if 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 it connects to the basement at all, I could. Oh, just jumping over lava here, not even paying attention. Um, Ooh, ravine. Uh, I feel like this is like the first time playing Minecraft. Because <laughs> I'm like getting all excited about stupid things like ravines and spawners. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, that's, uh, I think this is my, yeah, this is my storage room. So. Yeah, I can just go down a little further and and that'll be my uh I mean down from the from that room and uh link up to a portal if we b decide to build one down here. 
Um, so that might not be a bad idea either. Hopefully I get a good spawn in the nether because I really like um, nether brick and uh, that'd be really cool to get like a dungeon or a, a nether fortress right off the bat. Um, so <sighs> we'll see how that works out. Need a oh hello. Let's see. This oh I re I explored that ravine earlier. Well, by earlier I mean like a week ago. Um, so think there's anything up there that coal's not worth getting um, maybe I should uh, just kind of light up this cave and then see where my time's at and if we have enough time I'll go uh, go exploring out in the uh, in the world to see if we can find a, a cool place to like build build some stuff so uh, I'm gonna stop recording now guys and uh, I'll be back if I find anything cool what's going on guys um, back I got uh, everything in here lit up oh thought I looked at him uh, found a ravine here um, haven't explored it I'm gonna go through didn't want to want you guys to miss anything uh, I went went a little further back that way um, and it was just some iron and coal and just yeah you know, boring stuff um, but this thing kind of looks boring too there might be something further down here we'll see nope dead end what's down here some coal, a little iron. Uh, let's get this and move on afterwards. Nope, more. Lots more. What am I doing on coal? I got over two stacks. I should be fine on coal. Let's torch down here. Uh, yeah, I knocked a pig off that, so that's why. Oh! Hey, creeper. That bitch. Ah, let you on fire. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's plug that up. Is this coming from? I hate these new graphic glitches. It's like, what are you doing? Hey, zombie. Hey, hey buddy. What you doing? Uh, this is the same ravine that I was in before, but it looks like it tunnels. It keeps keeps continuing down down this way. So we'll see what we got here. Let me eat something. Oh, what's up, buddy? Motherfucker. I'll kill you. Um. Anyway, so, um. Doesn't look like there's anything down here. It's dead ends. Yep. Alright, well. I think I'm just going to, uh. gonna go out of this uh, dun or of this cave um, and we'll see what my time is like and uh, if I have enough time then we will uh, we'll go and explore out in the world 
Alright guys, we're going to end the episode here. I've got a little too much time, uh, but seems that I accidentally messed up on placing these bookshelves. And I have a silk touch axe, so here's hoping that it works. Oh, thank god. It, you get the whole bookcase back. Because these things are a pain in the ass and very, very expensive to make. Ah. <sighs> Seriously, I have to risk breaking my unbreaking axe. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna enchant an um. Let's get a good shelf. Well, what's this one? Eh, yeah. Let's get a better, better shovel. Mm, looks like we need to cut down on some of these. So let's try this now. There we go. 18. Ooh, fortune, efficiency, I'm breaking. It's pretty good. All right. Well, um, this is Jabe signing out. Hope you guys all have a good day and a super weekend.